family, ingenuity, diversity, adversity. In these troubling times, we have to work together, not separately together, or together separately, just together. Yesterday was an old day, and every day feels like a Thursday. Will we ever make it to Friday? Yes, we will! Introducing the album of the year, Rebecca Black's Greatest Hits. This album has all of your favorite Rebecca Black songs. Friday. That's it. It's Friday on repeat 37 times. If you thought Kendall Jenner could solve the world's problems with a can of Pepsi, wait till you see Rebecca Black and her greatest hits. Just listen to our very satisfied customers. When Damien from accounting sent me an email saying just bumping this to the top of your inbox, I got so mad I wanted to bump him to the top of my inbox. And by bump him, I mean hit him. And by to the top of my inbox, I mean with my car. But then he gave me the best Secret Santa present of all time, Rebecca Black's Greatest Hits, and my life was forever changed. Now when I say I want to bump him to the top of my inbox, I mean to the top of my Halloween party invite list. We're doing a couple's costume as Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Twincest! When I first asked to speak to the manager at the Ruby Tuesdays in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I meant business. I had asked for extra, extra cheese on my Cheddar Biscuits extravaganza, but don't you know, they only gave me extra cheese. I was so flippin' upset, I almost took the tongs from the all-you-can-eat salad bar and shoved them right up her keister. But then the manager gave me a complimentary apology copy of Rebecca Black's Greatest Hits, and I immediately deleted all six of the negative Yelp reviews I left in the last four minutes. I even ordered another pop. Puppy Chow, Kroger, Cornhole. Oh, I'm a Midwestern stereotype. When I got elected great-grandmother of the house, I never thought I'd see eye to eye with that human lizard from the Senate, Mitch McConnell. I mean, it literally looks like he just ingested a bowl of flies. You can imagine how surprised I was when he reached across the aisle, literally, to hand me a copy of Rebecca Black's greatest hits. Now, Mitch and I are best friends. We're planning on getting together this Friday for a night of face masks and RuPaul's Drag Race. He's cheering for Ms. Cracker. I wonder why. When Lord Voldemort slaughtered my parents when I was less than a year old, I thought we'd never get along. I mean, the guy has been stalking me for as long as I can remember, and surviving magical assassination attempts once a year can really crush a boy's spirit. So uncool. But at the final battle of Hogwarts, when I came face to face with my arch nemesis, instead of handing me a slow and painful death, he handed me Rebecca Black's greatest hits. He told me that every time he's tried to find me, it was to apologize for killing my parents and to compensate with the sweet sounds of Rebecca Black. Thanks, Voldy. I forgive you for murdering most of my loved ones. Now, whenever I use Hermione's time turner, I always turn that shit to Friday. <coughs> In all the world's chaos, three things unite us all. Rebecca Black, her greatest hits, and a universal hatred of Kendall Jenner. Now more than ever, we must come together through the only way we know how. A one-time purchase of Rebecca Black's greatest hits. With Rebecca Black's greatest hits, we will beat this virus. But only together. Tomorrow. Today. It's Friday in America. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend together.